you are watching Praise House Network, a house of praise, a house of worship, a house of prayer, teaching, and communion with the Holy Spirit. Hi guys, Calvary Salutations. This is Uche Ome, the lead pastor of Power World Ministries International. Jesus speaking said, the word I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. I am excited to be taking you to the service where the spirit of our God is already moving by the preaching of the gospel. Catch you in the service. Amen. Romans chapter 3 verse 24. Romans chapter 3 verse 24. You must be fast to be able to catch up with me this morning. Romans chapter 3 verse 24. For if by one man's offense, death reign. For if by one man's offense, death reign, how much more we, everybody say we, that have received not just grace, but abundance of grace shall reign in life. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm here to reign. Some time ago, somebody said, don't pray to rain. If you rain, you'll be out on time. But I saw in the scripture, he said, we're here to rain. And we don't rain for some years, we rain forever. Even, even after rapture, we will still here, come to rain with Christ. How much more we that have received abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life. <laughs> Look at it. By one man. Not by your effort. If it was by my effort, I can tell you, it may work or it may not work. But he said, by one man. And his name is what? Jesus Christ. Can you say it? His name is what? Jesus Christ. I'm beginning a series this morning. I'm beginning the series this morning and I don't know when I'm going to end because a whole lot as I continue to study, I saw too many things. We're going to decide too many things as we progress. And there's going to be a lot. We're going to dive into some doctrinal issues to be able to give you what you're supposed to have. Dealing with Jesus, the game changer. Oh, Gagada Bazaga. Some of you are not excited. The moment you hear Jesus, if you truly know what he did for you, you'll be excited. Jesus, the game changer. Life before the cross and life after the cross, they are not the same. Something happened before he came and when he came, there was a switch. Relationship with God and everything changed just by his arrival. Everywhere you see Jesus, something will always change. He never showed up and something remained the same. Never. How do you know that Jesus is there when there is a change? When he enters a man, there is a change. Even the Bible said that he that is in Christ is what? A new creature. Something changed. There's a shift. And we have been shouting it. Christianity is not refurbishment of character. It's a change of nature. There was a sh Something happened on the cross over 2,000 years ago. Ma major shift. The whole universe shook by one man. Even in the Old Testament, when he appeared in types and in shadows, even in types and in shadows, things will always shift. The normal becomes, the abnormal becomes the normal. The abnormal becomes the normal. The normal becomes the abnormal. The abnormal becomes the normal just by his arrival. Even in types and shadows. He arrived. That's why when I see a believer, I say, 
you are born again and nothing changed. I've been wondering who you met. Though there are many Jesus. Maybe you met Jesus of Oibo. You met Jesus and your life remained the same. Oh, Bokot, oh, Bosan. When I met him, let me share with you how I got born again. Got born again and I have the date. If you don't know the date when you got born again, it means you don't have value of what you receive. Do you know the birthday of your life? If you do, then you must know the birthday. Your, your spiritual birthday. Do you know what you're talking about? On the on the first, on the first of January, that year, it was Papa Mobile that was preaching. He made an altar call. I said, come and give your life to Christ. Many people came and I went. I said, Jesus, I didn't come to give you my life. Very sincere prayer. Yes, sincere prayer. I didn't come to give you my life. I, I came to tell you that I love you. And I want to I want to serve you. But the problem is that the things of this life does not allow me. I'm afraid of taking the decision because I know I will survive it. Where do I start? Lord, look at my friends. They will call me Juma. Say, but I was told that you are all powerful. Since you are all powerful, take me your own way. That's all I came to tell you. If you know how you can arrest me, arrest me. I want to give you my life, but I don't have the ability. Then arrest me. Child, the murder took call. I left. First of January in my village. Assemblies of God Church. In my village. The same day we went with some friends. We were just having fun. There's something we used to take as they gave me that day. I lost the appetite. I dropped it. I came back. On the 4th of January, we returned on the 3rd. 4th of January, I visited a friend. As I visited a friend, I had a message on a, this old cassette. And that was how I gave my life to God. I was crying. I fell in love with Jesus. Before you know what happened. On my way, I remember the streets. I remember the streets. Eckert Street. On my way, I returned to Kaduna Street. Somebody met me on the road. I said, why are you crying? Uchi. And he called me what they used to call me. He said, this is why you are crying. I said, I met Jesus. And I started preaching. And the person joined me in crying. Guess what? The guy is a pastor now. I went to my mother's shop. I preached to the neighbor. He got born again. Until I saw him last, he was still born again. Then in the night, I got into the house. My parents are hearing me. In those days in secondary school, that they came to form a court. Some university guys came to form a court. They called catch them young. So they started from secondary school. And then I had a gun. So I brought out the gun on top of the table. But when some boys, they threatened me, I just looked them they laughed. I brought the gun that I used, if you see where I brought it from. My mother started shouting, la, 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 hey, hey. Mama, you should be rejoicing. He said there was a day she had ministration that what if police come for search in your house and they see God? She waved it. She didn't know that I could go to that level. I brought it down. Now listen, the rest is story. When my younger brother saw it, so gone, he gave his life to Christ. Why won't you repent? In a way, you are feeling you, you, you are one of them. As he saw the gun, boom, he knelt down. Lord, here am I. Everywhere started shifting. Between that was 4th of January. Between that fault, I noticed there was a vacuum. 
inside me. It, it was visible. I could see it. I saw it that the words that we live was divided into two. So I left the, where, the, the former place I used to be to another side. When I see a non-believer, I see it from another side. When I see myself, I see my, I say, Lord, I can't cope with this thing. The vacuum is too much. I was told in Sunday school that there's a personality called the Holy Spirit. I said, you need to come and feed this inner vacuum. In, in deeper life church, where we went for night vigil, I started going for night vigil. From, from fifth, I met, I met Pastor Vita of Blessed Memory. I'm bro- I that lives abroad now. My God, my glory. As we're going for naivety, on the tent, on the tent, we're worshiping. Suddenly, he came and overwhelmed me. When I realized what was going on, I was on the floor speaking in tongues. How can I forget the date? How can I forget the place? When something shifted, every time he showed up in types and in shadows, there's always a change. Ladies and gentlemen, in Egypt, he showed up in times. And what was it? They said, you kill an animal. Bring, a, bring the blood, the red blood. Put it on the lintel of the door. Because death will pass through this city. And kill the firstborn. Kill the firstborn. Now I say, put that, that one. This dead does not know Egyptians or an Israelite. Death does not have you don't get respect for where you are coming from. He will move. He will kill. He can kill an Egyptian. He can kill an Israelite. But the difference is put him, Jesus, in times to show what will happen when he comes? Put him in times. Put him in times and in shadows. Let there be the symbol of blood on your lint and of the door. The only security and safety you have is him. When his presence in your house, even death cannot enter. The game changer. The game started. They enter the house. One house of an Egyptian. Where is your firstborn? This is him. Piam dead. Entered another house. Where is your firstborn? Piam dead. Now was to enter another house. And saw Jesus. The game changer standing. In times and in shadows. On the post of the door. He said no, 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 no. We can't enter here. The game changer is there. The game is on. But anywhere he is, he changed the game. I prophesy. Whatever has been happening in your family, where you come from, because you carry Jesus, the game will change in your own case. I can't feel that, amen. I said the game will change in your own case. Where others fail, you will succeed there. When others are complaining, you'll be rejoicing and dancing and giving glory to God. If I'm talking to you, throw your leg and shut fire. If I'm talking to you, say, talk to me. It's the game changer. Lift your hands, shout, the game changer. Sit down. Pastor Prince Solomon, do you realize that if there was an Egyptian that heard, that's why hearing is important. He said the God of this world that blinded them. That they don't hear. Hearing they don't hear. He said so that I will not hear them. They don't position themselves where they hear me. If there was an Egyptian that heard the prophecy. Blessed is he that heard. Blessed is he that heard. There is blessing in just hearing. I will, I will tell you more on it as I move to the second one. Just to hear. Just hearing. Changes a man's life. See, anybody you give your ears, you have given the person your life. That's why, with all the things flying around social media, 
I don't pay attention to everything. There are people I see their posts, I scroll. Because what you are giving to me won't be, it won't help me. <laughs> There's something they call the ministration of the dead. And there's something the Bible calls the ministration of the spirit. The Bible said, your fathers ate and they died. You think it's just physical food he's talking about. He said, and I found your word and I ate them. I ate the word. He said, it's the rejoicing of my soul. So what I put in my mouth reflected in my soul. Yes, sir. Whoever, as a prince, that you give this ear, you are giving him your life. Any ministration you sit under every Sunday, the man is in charge of your life. That's why you must not gamble with it. This year is your life. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. But you can't think until you hear. Whoever you give this year, this year, whether it's on social media, whether it's doing naivety, whatever it carries, as a street man, if I always watch your post on social media, that my life I they give you. If I share, if I share what you say, what you what what you what you post, it means even those who are following me, I'm also bringing their life to submit to you. You can't be greater than what you hear. Whether they preach out of envy or out of competition or whatever, the moment you start hearing. Consciously, I guide my life by guiding what I hear. Jesus said, Take it how you hear. The difference between this man and this one is what he heard. <laughs> All the Israelites, they have two hands, two legs. Egyptian, two hands, two hair, one head. But the difference, the difference between the house that was crying in the morning of losing their first son and the house that was rejoicing, thank you, Father, for saving me, is just what they heard. Moses tell them there must be types and shadows. So they heard. What? They heard about the game changer. If there was an Egyptian that heard about him and also go and get an animal, kill the animal and put the blood on the lintel. The death will get there and mistake the person to be one of the Israelites. He is not your nation or your city or your village. He is about the game changer. The next side he is he showed up was a woman that also heard. We have heard how your God has walked and has given you victory over so many nations. Come to my house tonight. I don't need your money. I don't need you to sleep with me. I am a harlot. Can I announce to you the woman brought them inside the house. The rest is the story. is, is history. We saw that the entire Jericho, Pastor Streetman, did not fall. The entire Jericho did not fall. A harlot had a portion. By what she had. The entire Jericho did not fall, Pastor Saint. Not, not a spiritual woman. A harlot. Jakuta. A harlot. What was the difference? She heard. We have heard about the game changer. Make covenant with me. Don't sleep with me. I don't need your money. Just be fine tonight. For the first time in my life, a man will sleep in my house and not have sex with me. 
Stay here, eat my food. Because we have heard about him. We have heard about the game changer. From what I heard, this wall of Jericho is useless before him. <laughs> From what I heard, when he's walking with a man, what you call limitation is not limitation. From what I've heard, look at wall of Jericho that others are saying it cannot happen because wall of Jericho was so big that they built a house on top of fence. Imagine a fence where they built house. Built house on top of a fence. He said, we have heard. From what we heard about the game changer, this wall is useless when he's moving. He does not need to push it. We have heard that he said that you should not even push. You should march around seven times. Before you march around seven times, make a covenant with me. They said, okay, from what you heard about him, the only thing that can help you is also him. We don't have what to use to help you. Only him can help you. He has not come, but let's give him to you in types and in shadow because this entire city has been condemned by God. But the only person that can save you from the hand and the wrath of God is him. When he comes, even when God is angry with you, God will become happy. Even when God is angry, I'll show you from Bible. Even when God is first for you. Now when he never comes, He's the only sacrifice that gladdens the heart of the Father in terms of salvation. Where God, the verse, when he manifests, God, the happy. When he shows up, God no longer looks at you. He looks at you through him. He becomes the eyeglass that God uses to see you. Jesus, my eyeglass. He is the eyeglass of God to see me. How, how happy I am that he does not see me direct. He sees me from the eyeglass called the game changer. Watch this. They said the only thing we can give is bring something that represents him. Bring a red cloth. That's the only way. If you like, keep us in your house for three months. Give us free food. If you like lie that, let's match you. Until he arrives. You will still die with others. Good works is useless. Until you find him. Sir. Sir. The red clothes. The day they came. The street man, something did there. When they entered, they entered the house of a harlot. She was called a harlot. They left and they reported, We saw a harlot. They told Joshua what they saw. Then, when Joshua entered for them to take over the city, walls of Jericho have collapsed. They were to kill everybody. Joshua now saw. And said, where is the house? They said, oh, that one with the red cloth. He said of Joshua to say, go and bring the harlot. Joshua said, go and bring the woman. What changed her name? Identity changed. Before the red cloth, before Jesus in times and shadows, she was a harlot. When he came, the harlot became a woman. Spy saw harlot. Joshua now came. They told her she's a harlot. But what I'm seeing, she's no more a harlot. She's the woman. Game changer. Story will always change. Before you enter this building, they saw a man that couldn't pay house rent. But from what I'm seeing, from his own eyeglass, I see the new landlord that has just emerged. Your amen is weak. Your amen is weak. Your amen is weak. You entered here as a debtor. But from what I'm seeing from the game changer, Kutaba Russia, you are living here paying the debt of others. 
If your amen is louder than your neighbor, your doors are open. Somebody salute him, said the game changer. A shift. Bakuta Barada. How lot few days ago? How lot few hours ago? But the, 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 the presence of the game changer, she had moved. If you are still looking at me, if you are still finding me in my past, sorry I left. Sorry I shifted. If you care, grab all my past. Use it to be witch hunting me. You are in that past alone. I have moved. Somebody take the steps. I move. Poverty change when he comes. He changed. He will change the narrative. I just to show you who you carry. Inside of you is the presence of the game changer. You enter business, they say it's not working. Tell you don't know who I carry. It's not about what I'm doing, it's about who is doing it. Oh, go, 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 don't suit her. They said others have been doing it and failing. Not when I arrive. Because I do not come by myself. I come with the game changer. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Bishop Humphrey Rumaka said, the reason why they are asking for who is that we are still looking for the who. And nobody is qualified to fit in there as the who. Till Jesus comes, there's, there's no who that can stand. Who can stand the case? Not because of my stature, because of who I carry. I want to remove your eyes a little from your stature. I want you to enter that one you carry on the side. I'm only laying foundation in this series. The first assignment. Can you remove your eyes from yourself and from your connections and from how much you have in your account and fix it on that who you carry. Looking unto Jesus. The author. He started. The author. And the finisher means he started. He is the one that will finish. I am not, I have no part to play. How can he start and not finish? I feel like singing a song. I am a divine project. I cannot be abandoned. I am a divine project. I cannot be abandoned. I am a contract to mine. He will, he will never, never abandon, abandon me until, until he finishes. Contract in my life. Can we sing it one more time? I am a divine. If I brought I am not to be abandoned. I am a divine project. I cannot. I'm not to be abandoned. I am a contract to Jesus. He will never abandon me until he finishes his contract in my life. Look at your neighbor and say, you are not alone. The game changer is still there. Oh, sit down, sit down. A harlot had a portion of Jericho. She stood with him in times and shadow. Now watch this. As she held on to it, the next thing we heard that a harlot had become one of the great grandmothers of Jesus Christ. Look at the shift. Future secured. What she held on to affected the children in her loins. How did she become the great grandmother? When she married after. I said it last. I said it before I traveled. 
I said it on Tuesday. You don't eat your cake and have it. But when it comes... You don't eat your cake and have. But street man, when you hold on to him, you can even swallow your cake and still have it. What do you say? <laughs> I will restore to you the years and the days which can come from my feet. Because I'm the game changer. I can rewind the time. I live out of time. I control time. What you thought you lost is still in my presence. It doesn't take me anything to bring it back. I will restore 2019. It's gone. But I can make, I can calculate all the things you lost and I, I will double it ten times and give to you. That's how I restore your years. Have you not seen women who were barren? The day God opened their womb, three plates. <laughs> See that? I feel excited. Three boys thrown inside fire. Three boys. But the sweet man, you can easily misunderstand God if you don't pay attention to his ways. He should have delivered them from being thrown inside fire. <laughs> I like the way he's responding. He spoke their, he's speaking their dialects. On on it, no. Even when you cannot trace him, trust him. If he's there, if he's there, just trust him. Relax, she lasts. Look at your neighbor and say, even when you can't feel him anymore. And you are sure he's there. Tell your neighbor, you are sure he's there. Relax and jealous. Buy Coke and Fanta. Buy Coke and Fanta. If you don't have money for Coke and Fanta, buy Zobo. Just take one Zobo. Relax. What beam they red do at all, Lord John? Mano to to mana bali obi nderedu Choko mari homo gemere mwaya obi nderedu Obi nderedu wadalamba obi nderebo Chigalane barato chokodo obi nderedu Sit down Sit down Musicians always be ready for me because the way this thing they switch me, I'll be singing at, at in town. Listen. If he's there, sleep. Are you not, are you not bothered that in the midst of storm, he was sleeping? Do you know that Peter would have regretted all the struggle in bailing the water out? We should have just alerted him. Why bailing the water when he's there? Why bailing the water when he's still there? When he's still there. Everything was taken from David. But he held on to effort. You know what is effort? The Jesus in type and shadow. Because the effort is the medium of inquiring from God. And Jesus is the medium between us and God. David said, if you... They gather stone to stone. We say, look at you. They took only your wives and children. And you want to kill your guy. Get me the effort, idiot. Get me effort. You see him and you want to kill me. You see him and you are crying. The Bible says, and David saw him and encouraged himself in the Lord. Three Hebrew boys. Why did he to show up to change the decree of Nebuchadnezzar? There are times he will not meet you outside fire until you enter outside fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
When mama was going through some health challenge that she told you many years ago. 2013. It, as I went to God in prayer. Where are you? He said, oh child, let her go through it. When they said they would take her surgery, do this, do this. He said, I will meet her inside that theater. Then I said, God, why? He said, didn't you see in my word? I met them inside fire. There are times he meets you outside fire. Pastor Emma, sometimes he wants to meet you inside fire. He is the game changer. It doesn't matter when he comes. Anytime he arrives, the game will change. There are players you put inside the pitch. You put them five minutes. Footballers, we know. You put them five minutes to go. I go, 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 no shut up. Suddenly, three to one. Three to one. We saw it, I think, in Atlanta, 96 or whatever. I don't know. I'm, uh, they put Kano Wanko. Papilo. Game changed. He will not head goal. He will play goal. Baka ta ta ta. People had given up. They left the match, turned their TV up. While they were mourning, they heard. They didn't care. They had another one. They had another one until Nigeria equalized and won. The streets in Umaya. Everywhere was shaking. People were jubilating. Many people opened their, opened their hotels and said, come and eat and drink. Because one game changer entered the football pitch. Katubaka, I prophesied to somebody. As you are entering your house now, the game changer is going with you. Game changer. I don't care when he comes. Baku Tabara Shata. He looked at, he looked at Mary. A mother. I said, forget the event. Forget how many days your brother been in the grave. Stinking. I am the game changer. Any day I come, the game will change. He may be buried. He may have been forgotten. He may have been stinking and rotting and smelling. But I can change the game. Just making you happy. Very soon we enter the doctrine. The foundation I did. But may not be in this service. May not be today. Sir. Now watch this. There are five of you. The Lord says, I should tell you the game has just changed. I heard it clearly. Five of you. Five of you. Just say yes, the Lord. Just say yes, the one that cannot lie. The game has just changed. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor! He had a bar before. I hope I had a bubble. The game changer has entered. If I'm talking to you, jump on your feet and say, Yes! <laughs> Glory! Sharing some testimony with me that you will hear in second service. What sent me like a voice recorder? One of you, I listened to it, I cried all through the night. Mama woke up, saw me, instead of praying, I was just crying. He said, What is it? I said, What one of our daughters sent to me is humbling. Second service, we hear it. Look, you will know that there's nothing impossible with him. Listen carefully. Pay attention to this. He was watching them thrown inside fire. Then the next thing we heard from the book of the in the Old Testament. How many guys did we put there? I don't 
get it. Please get me my eyeglass. They called him his eyeglass. He watched, he cleaned and watched again. He said, please, I just want you to help me. They didn't know when they called the game changer. They, when they were to throw them inside fire, pastor said, hit the fire times seven. And seven is the number of God. Seven is the number of perfection. Seven is the number of God. They didn't know. They were calling the game changer. The moment he had seven, he walked inside fire. Usually, Pastor Faithful, fire used to burn people, kill people, roast their clothes. But they saw that these guys were dancing inside fire. The only thing burnt was the rope they used to bound them. Their clothes intact. Then they started asking something. We need to research into this thing. He said, let's research what is happening. Then from their research, pastor said, see the game changer. The book candidate was specific. Look at a carnal man that didn't know God. Saw him in the Old Testament. He said, the one that is the fourth one among them look like the son of God. Who taught you the son of God? In the Old Testament. He saw him as the son of God. The moment he saw him, he said, no wonder the game changed. He said, please get me the decree. Get me the paper that was written and, and signed. Change it. Do you know what it means? The law of Medebesha, the law of Babylon does not change, cannot be altered. Not when he comes. You didn't hear what I said? I said, not when he comes. Hear me, hear me, and hear God. Any area of your life and business, career, and family that has been like a long standing issue today, I declare them by the reason of the movement of the game changer, I command them to change. They were being beaten by the fury serpent. And they were dying. And they were in pain. Ah, 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 ah. It don't bite me. He told Moses, tell them. Make a brazen serpent. Lift it up. I can't guarantee that this fury serpent will stop biting. Because it's with you people there. I can't guarantee that Satan will not attack you. But make a fury, a, a brazen serpent, lift it up. Anyone beaten by the fury serpent shouldn't complain, shouldn't cry. All you need to do is to look up and see the one that is lifted in times and shadow. The moment you see me in the midst of the pain, then the pain is, is gone. You know the problem you have? You have not been seeing him. You have been seeing your uncle. You have been seeing the person chatting you to see if he can help you. You have removed your eyes from him. Look unto him. So what was raining? Look up. Look up. Look and leave. Ah, what is it that is lighting me? Look up. Don't mind that pain. Don't mind the fury serpent. There's a brazen in one. So those who looked up, the pain disappeared. They didn't die. Because he appeared in times and in shadows. Now watch this. Pastor, Moses, you will never enter my promised land. At the verse, I'm angry with you. You didn't represent me well. You didn't sanctify me well, King James. You went there and you brought yourself into it. And you said, must we give you water? Who are you when I'm talking? I don't know the one you're talking about. So he told him. 
climb the mountain, look and see where you would have inherited, but you can't enter. At the verse. He said, do you know the relationship with God and Moses? He spoke to God mouth to mouth. Moses, my servant. I will talk to mouth to mouth. Shh. It's not about works. This message has one focus. I want to remove you from yourself and fix your eyes on him. Do you know even New Testament? This one people condemn Moses. Do you know even New Testament say, Moses was faithful in all my doing. God was bragging. He said, this Moses, if there was, if there was any prophet among you, in the dream he will meet me, but this one, mount to mount. Oh Moses, he never divide the river in your village. A man used rod by God's word created express road or race. Do you know? Go and Google Red Sea. Study it. If they divide Red Sea and they ask you pass, you say no go pass. Because you'll be afraid. Let the water come and cover. Egyptians saw it and said, let's enter. You are entering a road you don't know the grade of. They were telling Moses, these guys have entered. I said, don't worry. I want them to get to the middle. I close it as I open. Yeah, he closed it. That was his relationship. He carried glory. The Bible said, even his face shone. People couldn't look at him. They're watching. That man begged God. God said, get out. Oh, who is God? He introduced himself as a consuming fire. When he's angry, you dare not talk to him. But the right to say, but them wrong way. When in the verse, I did here. I did You are finished. The Moses climbed the mountain and looked and saw milk and honey. I don't know what you have seen, and you couldn't ask this. So milk and honey. He saw cucumbers. He saw good things. You see cars, you can't drive. You see others wait, you can't wait. You see others carry their children, you can't carry. He saw. I watch this. Because he was dealing with God by himself. With his human effort. Righteousness. He begged and begged God said, don't mention it. Guess what? He died and God buried him by himself in anger. And made sure that even his body, nobody should know his burial. What kind of anger did that? Nobody knew his burial ground. Till date. When I finish with you, nobody will remember where you were buried. For them to even go there for pregnant, you know, go walk. It's like destiny closed and forgotten. Israel, they know where they where they buried their great men. Bible character. Yeah. Moses, the man that brought them out of Egypt. Destiny forgotten. Covered. I don't know what is covering you. But he was looking. He needed a game changer. One day, many years later, the game changer landed in Israel. And he said, because I can change, including the mind of God for people, there's young guy that labored and could not eat the fruit of his labor. I want him to come and enter that place that God said he will enter. That you may know I am the king of God. I can change decisions. Oh, there was a mountain called Tabor. That mountain Tabor is in Israel. Scholars call it Tabor. Jesus carried three guys. Peter, 
James and John. I said, let's go. I want to show you something. Because there's somebody my mercy need to speak over. Hey. As he carried, they enter beyond transfiguration. Look at the, look at the, look at the mercy because he is the mercy and grace of God. He is the one that when he comes, mercy starts speaking. Look at his presence beyond transfiguration and what they came. That mountain, when he stood in Israel, the promised land that Moses was denied access, suddenly Moses appeared. That same land they said he will not enter. Moses entered and he stayed in the land as he was discussing with Jesus. Elijah came as they were discussing. I'm sure Moses would have said, let my leg touch it. I saw it before but I could not assess it. Now, because of you, I have entered. I saw it in the anger of God but by your presence, my legs have entered. God say I will not enter, but because you came, I have entered. I announced to somebody. I announced to somebody in a name that is above every other name. What they say nobody can achieve in your family, you will be number one to achieve it. Hey, I said you will be number one to achieve it. I don't know who I'm talking to. He's changing the narratives in your family. Your amen is too weak. If you say it better, it work for you now. Somebody shout the game changer. Lift your hands. The purpose is to make you to remove your eyes from your effort. See him. See him that is ever ready. See him that is faithful. We are just laying foundation. I'm telling you what happens when he comes. Come and lift your hands. Forget your neighbor. If you can't shut your eyes. For the next two minutes. I just want you to worship him. Adore him. Say beautiful things to him. Just worship thy faithfulness oh Lord my father there is no shadow of truth with me now changes Lord my compassion as thou hast been Where is thy faithful? Mm. Oh Lord, my Father, there is no shadow of with me. When Bible says count the cost, the cost is not money. 
The cost is faith. Because the Bible said every man should prophesy according to the measure of faith given to him. Even the Bible profit by the level of faith to him. For this gospel that was preached to you was also preached to them but did not profit them because they did not have faith. Jesus will always say, if you believe, of faith for what he wants to do. Can you step out like Abraham into a land I will show you. Not the land I have shown you. The land I will show you. And Abraham believed God. It was accounted unto him for righteousness. He said you are the sons of Abraham. You want to build a house? Let's do it bungalow. It's not easy to dig him as cement and concrete. It's not about money, it's about your faith. Where there is belief, there is a way. If counting the cost is money, go and ask any of the great men that have done something great how much they have before they started. Some of you have limited yourself because you always check your account. Check how much you have. Check your business. Check your salary. Check your income. So with all those things, that's the limitation. For the Bible said, they have limited the God. They have made the word of God of no effect by the vain philosophies of men. It's called vain. Reasoning of men. Hey, don't do it. I heard when my father-in-law was building his house, one engineer said, there, yeah, you can't do this thing. Even politicians, the way they steal, give it comfort. When he said, increase, increase, okay, let me give it to you, bigger than you wanted, so that you'll be frustrated. But he gave him. God exceeded both my father-in-law's expectation, including the engineer's expectation. When we were doing here, one engineer came, collected money around, and carried us to go and show us a He said, if you try this, that is the thing you are trying to do. He said, you guys can't do it. And he took our 200,000 naira. He came and reduced things. Reduce it. Day. I got so mad, I entered it. I called past, I called the engineer that is waiting to them. say, go back to the drawing. Increase it. Increase it. All one scan and one. Increase it. Even you now, when you attend second service, don't you see that here is too small? No. When you come for second service, don't you see that here is too small? So that guy would have even made it smaller. Increase it. How much? All the money we had then finished in foundation. Money we brag. I will return and say, Pastor, where are you? Say, hey, Daddy, I can't have foundation. We're about to come out. I entered and I saw the way in foundation. I said, Ministry finished. It's not easy. But he is counting his feet. And that's why he's working for them. Anybody who tell you, I have everything it takes before I started my shop, I started my wedding, I started having children. Nala! I said, Nala! Except those that their fathers fought battle for. <laughs> and it's, it's more honorable to fight your battle. There are people that were born with gold spoon and silver spoon. Some of us who weren't born. We were born with wood in one. Iron. Or no spoon at all. But we are buying our own spoon. There are people who were born into greatness. Some people walked their way into greatness. 
I prophesy. If your faith can carry it, you will become the solution that others are looking for. <laughs> when you want to build a seed, your expectation. I prophesy. As far as your eyes can see, the game changer, he has given to you. If your amen is louder than your neighbor three times, it becomes your portion. Count your faith. And what is the faith? Look away. Hebrew chapter 12. Look away from the money. Look away from the connection. Look away from who is against you. Look away from who is speaking against you. Where do we look? Looking unto Jesus. The author and the finisher. He started, he will finish. Look unto him. You can't pay. But can I ask you a question? Can the game changer pay? You can't get the visa. Can the game changer get the visa? Then I submit to you, it's good as done. Done, done, done. Done and dusted. Done, done, done. Done and dusted. Can I hear your amen and prophesy? Done, done, done. Done and dusted. Done, done, done. Done and dusted. Somebody shout. Praise the Lord in the highest. I'm excited and convinced that you are blessed by the word of God that you just heard. Listen. The Bible says the word of God is God and God is his word. What you just encountered is God. And everywhere God appears, like he appeared to Samuel in Shiloh by his word, things don't remain the same. I declare to you, every sickness in your body disappear. Every mountain before you be leveled up. Doors closed, open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree that every challenge in your life has become a testimony. Write me and let me know what God has done in your life by this word. I'm excited. Be blessed. You are in charge. Amen. You are watching Praise House Network. A house of praise. A house of worship. A house of prayer teaching and communion with the Holy Spirit.